Hey guys and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball and Pro Speed Baseball's bunting series. I'm joined today by my one of my pro students, Chris Duffy, and he's going to help us out with basic bunt technique and setup. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to break the basic bunting technique down into two simple parts where we talk about what we do with the lower half and the upper half, or more specifically what we do with our hands and how we hold the bat in the bunting position. So what I'm going to have Chris do is demonstrate, first of all, he's going to show you the most common wrong thing that we see in the bunting stance, and that's the, the, the old little league where you see he's squared up both of his feet towards uh, the pitcher, and we've now opened ourselves up. This is definitely a big no-no in the bunting stance. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate proper technique for the lower half and the upper half. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the bat out of the way, and I'm going to have Chris cross his arms across his chest, and he's going to demonstrate proper lower half technique where we simply rotate on our backside and face our hips towards the pitcher just like this. And this is how the lower half is supposed to look, and we're going to show him from face on. Same thing, he's simply going to rotate on his backside, and he's going to have his hips facing out towards the pitcher or his chest facing out towards the pitcher. Okay, so that's going to be proper lower half technique up on the back toe and balanced on the front foot, okay? So now what we're going to show you is how to hold the bat uh, for the proper bunny, uh, bunting technique, so what we're going to do with the upper half. So proper bunting technique with the upper half is going to start off, in your, so, so go ahead and show them from the hitting position. We're going to start off in the hitting position, okay, and our hands are going to be held here, and the top hand is going to slide up the bat, and I like to, to think about getting the fingers up to just underneath the logo on the bat. That's a good gauge. So if you have a logo on your bat, they're all usually in about the same place. So our fingers are going to be anywhere from the very beginning to the logo and all the way as far as to just in front of the logo. And the most important part of this piece is that we leave one hand really low on the bat and one hand we get up to the logo so that we can apply the right amount of leverage to the, to the bunt. Now the, the, port, the most important part that we have to understand is how we grip the bat with our top hand. You can see Chris right here is now gripping the bat to where the bat is laying on the top of his index finger and he has his thumb on, on top of the bat. So index finger is going to be up underneath, the, the thumb is going to be on top, and the most importantly, go ahead and show him from face on as well. The most important part is we're not going to want to have our fingers, so let's face them towards the camera so we can kind of see. We're not, if, I, if I were to slide my hand across the bat right here, I shouldn't be able to touch our fingers right there. This is going to keep our, our fingers safe from any balls that hit around where our hand is. If we have our fingers show them in front of the bat, so if we have our fingers wrapped around the bat like this, you can face the camera too. Like we, we, we'll, and we catch a ball right here, we're in for, we're in for a pretty bad day. So that's, uh, that's going to be proper, the proper way we hold the bat in the setup. So now we're going to show you it all in one piece where and we're going to show you how to get into the proper setup. So Chris is going to rotate his lower half, and he's going to hold the bat out in front of his body. So what he's going to do here is he's going to have the bat out in front of him. So let's go ahead and show him from face on so he can see a little bit better. Okay, so he rotates on his bottom half, and he's going to get that bat out in front of him. We don't want the bat back here behind our head because this is going to be very inefficient. We want to bunt everything that we bunt nice and out in front of our body. So a good gauge is to have the hands just past the, uh, the front leg here. So if you were to draw a line straight down from Chris's hands, you would see his hands are well out in front of his front foot, and so is the barrel, okay? So this is our basic setup from top to bottom. It's a very simple setup to get into if you understand the right pieces. Now we're gonna demonstrate how to execute a basic bunt. And the most important part about executing a bunt properly is to know where we want to make contact with the bunt or with the ball on the bat. And where we want to make contact is very simply the very end of the bat. Okay, the reason we want to do this is because this is where it's going to dead the ball and give us our most amount of control in the field. Okay, if we end up bunting the ball more towards the sweet spot of the bat, we end up hitting it a little too hard and we can't really control what's going on with the bat. So, I'm going to have Chris demonstrate a couple of bunts, okay? So what he's going to do is he's going to show, he's going to go ahead and square around in the proper bunting setup. He's got his feet turned around, and he's going to simply put the very end of the bat on the ball, okay? Now he's making contact on the outside, on the end of the bat, 
and that's allowing the ball to get deadened on the bat. So a little bonus tip for you guys here is how much give we give on the bat when we're actually bunting the ball as far as when we let the bat go backwards or forwards. If we want to die the ball down real short, I'm going to have Chris show you guys one where we die it short. We're going to almost act like we're catching the ball on the uh, tip of the bat, like we would catch a ball when we're, when we're throwing. Okay, and if we're going to want to get a little bit more ump on the ball, we're actually going to hold this bat a little bit more for, uh, firm and maybe even a little bit of forward press in the bunt. So I'm going to have Chris show you one of both. Okay, so the first one, he's going to deaden the ball by receiving the ball like he would at, on a catch. And you can see now the ball drops right below in front of the, bait, the plate. And now I'm going to show you one where he stays firm with the bunt and he gets a nice firm bunt down either line that he has this direction in. So that is our basic bunting technique and setup. And stay tuned for the rest of the series to learn how to get everything you, or learn everything you need to know about bunting. Guys, Chris and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned. I got a great bonus coming up for you. We're gonna play a preview out of one of the videos in our power hitting series. You can check out that video plus the entire series absolutely free of charge. And as always, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and plus one this video on Google. That really helps us grow the channel. And we always appreciate it every single time you guys do. Thanks again for watching guys. Good luck with your games. Good luck with your bunting and we'll see you guys soon. We're gonna take our hands and we wanna bring them back in front of our body. If we were having a line right down our feet and our feet are dead square, we can imagine a wall coming right up out of that line in front of our face. And what we wanna do is keep our hands in front of that wall at all times. They should never get behind this wall at all. Some of your better hitters will stay in front or get right on this wall, but they never go behind the ball. So if you watch them from down the line, you'll see that their hands stay in front of their body the whole time and now they're able to go from point A to point B and get as solid a contact as possible to hit home runs. So what we're gonna do to work on this